Welcome to Informatica Cloud videos. In this video, I would like to take you through some examples on how one can leverage the IACS platform REST APIs to perform continuous integration of your development work on Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. Continuous integration or CI is a development practice where developers integrate code into a shared repository frequently, preferably several times a day. And then each iteration can then be verified by an automated build or automated test. We will demonstrate this by using IICS Asset Management Utility version 2 that would be made available on Informatica Cloud Application Integration Community. This utility not only provides a wrapper on top of IICS Platform REST APIs, specifically the operations that make CI-CD possible, example export and import, but also augments it by providing new operations, example extract. That makes it possible to support patch use case, which includes unarchiving the export zip asset file into individual asset XMLs and maintaining the project folder hierarchy of your development process in the IICS platform. It also supports operations like package, which does just the reverse of extract. Given list of assets with their respective location in the hierarchy, it will create an export zip that can be imported into IICS. So what does a CI process look like for an IICS developer? Developer fetches the last version from version control system like git or start from scratch. This involves creating or reusing one or more IACS assets. Developer then uses purpose-based designers in the IACS to implement and it would be followed by iterations of design and runtime. Once all settled, the asset is checked into VCS like git and Jenkins job comes in very handy for such scenarios. In this video, we will focus on a similar use case where a developer would follow this methodology to ensure that the right versions are checked into the Git repository. We will do this using Jenkins pipeline. The steps will include developer working on IACS assets and tagging them as version 5, then checking them into Git repository, then again make some changes to version 5 and tag them as version 6, and again checking them to Git repository. The process of check-in involves invoking IACS list APIs to list all the assets based on specific type, tag or location, in this case a version. The script will also need to know which environment the asset needs to be fetched from, including access details, git remote repository and git local workspace. This is followed by exporting these assets into your local file system and then extract this export package into your git local repository workspace. They would then be committed to local repository and then pushed to git report repository along with tag information. Let's look at the Jenkins pipeline which does the same. The Jenkins pipeline is segmented into stages. We take in input parameters as needed, for example, the source details, the org from which we have to fetch the assets, then the git remote repository location and the tag on based on which we have to fetch the assets from the org and the local git workspace. In the preparation stage, we get all these details and assign them accordingly. We also get the credentials information that is needed to access the environment. This is followed by the list stage that lists all the assets with tag v5 which is used in the export stage to get the export package. Extract stage takes care of extracting the assets from the zip file into git local workspace. Version control stage takes care of pushing these assets along with the version tag. This will show up as release in git. Let's look at the git repository. Our git repository is clean and it doesn't contain any asset. Let's look at the IACS development environment. Let's look at the assets which are tagged with version 5.
as you can see there are five assets which are tagged with version 5 let's execute the pipeline with the right parameters and monitor the execution let's start the build as you see it's going through stages by stages it's right now in the preparation stage which finished and now it is performing list operation which also completed successfully it is currently performing an export of these assets extraction and then version control in the version control you may see that there are some files which are being added to the local workspace and that they are being committed to the local repository and the release tags are being added as well this finished successfully now let's look at our git repository as you may see there is a new folder here called explore let's navigate you can see the hierarchy here has been maintained and you get to see the five asset files along with the five metadata files alongside the asset files let's also look the tags so now we have a new tag here called v5 and this v5 tag actually has all the details here now let's make some changes to our developer environment and mark them as v6 let's go back to iics we have these five tags marked as v5 let's open this process for the sake of demo let's make some cosmetic changes I added the description here I'll save it I will also change the tag information here to mark it as v6 as you may see the description has been changed let's make the changes in the tag as well instead of v5 we will mark it as v6 now save it let's execute the pipeline again and monitor let's put the release version as 6 for now say build as you may notice the files have been added to a workspace and that a new release tag has been created and added to the git remote repository let's look at the git repository you would notice there is a new version called v6 and there you see the new assets in there you would also notice that there is a change in one of the asset files only you just saw how easy it is to work with IICS asset management utility that leverages IICS platform REST APIs to perform continuous integration thank you